And what you gonna do when Hulkamania and the largest arms in the world run wild on you? How much is this? I have no earthly idea. There's a, there's a guy that keeps appearing on my stream. His name is uh, Chill Murray. Right? Chill Murray spends his whole f***ing day talking about Phil. This guy looks so weird. Doesn't it look like he's wearing like a, like a rubber mask, right? He doesn't look like they designed his face correctly. It totally looks like it's like a mask he's wearing, like he's a, like a spy or something. <laughs> Maybe he is. Hey, your boy. Man, all right. So we're still in the interview saga, bro. And Phil's been acting very brand new. <laughs> you know, he's he's been begging hardcore. He, he, he just looks like he's just on the edge. He's very nervous, you know. And you could tell he's pretending to be extra, extra nice. In the hopes that, like, Stuttering Craig or one of those stupid dent heads from the Stuttering Dent podcast will see that Phil is a nice person and that we're just a bunch of degenerate liars. <laughs> Oh my god. So yeah, today actually I was thinking, when is this podcast gonna happen? So we could get this shit show over with and move on. And Phil, he announces it. All the while, bro, he pretty much like... He pretty much, like without saying it, you know, because it's Phil. He pretty much tells us how he's gonna answer every question in the podcast. It, it is 100% gonna be another quartering interview. Where they ask super soft questions and they don't really press them about any questions. And they just let Phil kind of, you know, talk and talk and talk until you're under hypnosis and you forget what you were thinking about for a second. Oh my god, I hate Phil, dude. He's such a little begging bitch. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it, my friends. We up a poll that members, again, over on DSP Reacts could be voting on to determine what I end up watching uh, over the next couple of days to do a review on either like Thursday or Friday of this week. Okay, so we've got all this stuff to think about. And then on top of all of that, <clears throat> in one month's time, it's my birthday bash celebration. First week of April. And every year I typically do some kind of a marathon event. This year I have done away with the member goals for the month. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to periodically do daily member goals. Depending on what I'm doing in a particular day, and the light. So today, for example, I, it would be really great if we get 385 members here on DSP Gaming. Why? Well, we're doing Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. That's going to bring in a lot of new viewership. And there's a nice chill stream of Oblivion later tonight. And if you like the content and you want to support it, becoming a member would be a great way to show that support. So, month-long member goals to have these events happen. Uh, we're trying something different where I'm just going to do them. So, I'm just going to do a, a, a birthday event this year. All right? We don't have to hit any kind of support goal to do it. Um, but the question is, what do we want to do for my birthday bash celebration? We've done various different things over the years. Sometimes it's a themed gameplay marathon. Sometimes there's other stuff going on. And I'm very, very curious what you guys want. So what we're going to do today is talk a lot about these interactive things. I want to hear what your thoughts are on all these things coming up so that we can plan it out and get that stuff going. So now we have things to get hyped for. You know, I actually really like having a roadmap. Bro, the fact that you're trying to paywall your own day of birth, Phil. <laughs> this is one of the things, this is why we detest you as a human being, my guy. <laughs> oh my god. Like, who the hell sits here like, if you give me so much money, you'll be able to watch me sit here and eat cake with my two little sad balloons, nerd. And the helium. I love how the helium just escapes the balloons every day so the balloons get lower and lower and lower no but that's ridiculous go fuck yourself phil <laughs> i swear he treats his he's like an abusive husband and he treats his fans like you know a housewife that can't just be good enough ever <laughs> and he's like oh, all right <laughs> lucky you i'm not gonna batter you across the face for money this time snort 
you just, just you'll get to just watch me eat cake for free. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Well, the first thing I would like to do, and just get this out of the way, I do have an update regarding my impending appearance on the Side Scrollers podcast. Okay, I will be appearing on the show next week. Not this week now, but next week. The exact date. I will reveal soon. I don't know if they want to reveal it first or if I'll reveal it first. I'm not sure. Uh, but basically, you know, keep you in suspense a little bit. But the way it's going to go. Don't worry, people. We'll, we'll, we got our eyes on the street. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'll find out before Phil finds out, Doug. But next week. Uh, my God, I have to watch it. Damn it. I said I wasn't going to watch this stupid shit. But now I'm like, I have to for the people. <laughs> oh, what have I done to myself? Their show, just so you guys know, the Side Scrollers podcast is a podcast that started a little less than a month ago. It used to be a very long running podcast in the mid 2000s into the early 2010s, back when ScrewAttack.com existed. They don't exist anymore. They were bought out by Rooster Teeth and then basically liquidated. Um. And so, this podcast, you know, was rejuvenated, and they invited me as a guest, but they just want to be on as a normal guest. It's a variety show. This show covers a variety of topics, including regular news. Oh, that sounds really interesting. I'd love to do that. But then, of course, when they announced that I was going to be on the show, all my detractors and haters jumped on the bandwagon, absolutely demanding that the guys on this podcast interrogate me about all the drama and nonsense on the internet about me. Phil, you know that's a lie. Philium? <laughs> you're, you're fibbing again, sir. Nobody out here told a uh, stuttering Craig to interrogate you, bro. We just want we just want to know <laughs> where is all the money going? <laughs> like that's all. We don't want another quartering interview. We don't want to see you sit here like the little shit pig you are doing the Vince McMahon strut thinking you did it again, all right? First appearance on the show is going to be that. Essentially, it's going to be an interview where they're going to be asking me about all the bullshit uh, and I will address it. You know, the thing is, for those of you who are fans of mine, who are here, you know, and chill with me every day, you've already heard these answers. Like, you already know the answers to all of these questions because I've answered them all in my own content, the problem where they're going to start because of all the bullshit that's been said about me over the years, you can just imagine. I mean, just in the pref to preface this, a few days ago, what was it last week? Last week, they were talking about my pending appearance on the show, and immediately they bring up things that literally are untrue. Well, Phil doxed people before. Literally 100% untrue. Never happened. Oh, contributor, and people make fun of him because of his Twitter. Completely wrong. Like, not even correct. And they're, they're bringing up like five, six things. This is what all the detractors say. They're all completely wrong. That's what I mean. Like, the show is going to basically be they throw a million ridiculous things at me, right? Some of which I'll admit I'm guilty of. You know, I've told you where I feel my shortcomings are. But some of this stuff is just nonsense. And so it's going to be me basically answering all their questions, you know, and getting it out of the way. So, you know, is it going to suck that it has to be an interrogation appearance? Yeah, it will. I don't want to sit down and be interrogated, but it seems like in order to get past that, so that I can actually be a normal person again. I have to do this, okay? You see, he's like priming to just sit there and just say, no, that didn't happen. No, that's not true. Now you see, they're just, they like to get in a little circle and they all come up with it. When it's like, we have documented goddamn evidence, Phil. Like that's why the second Craig opened his mouth, we jumped on his ass because we knew this is what was gonna happen. Like we knew it, Phil. You slippery little bastard, bro. Come on, homie. <laughs> bro, the whole interview. Craig's probably going to bring up Derek, right? And th th like Phil gave you the answer he'd give you. It's not true. Oh my God, I hate him so much. This interview is probably going to be the thing that, that gives me a brain tumor. Uh, Next week, I'll be appearing on their show. The exact date, I'm not going to tell you, but here's how it works. Their show begins broadcasting 
at 9 a.m. my time, Pacific time. 11 p.m. or excuse me, 11 a.m. Central time. So 9 a.m. Pacific time, 11 a.m. Central time. So I'm actually gonna get up early one day next week, and I'm gonna be on their show. All right. I normally their show lasts an hour and a half to two hours. I predict this is gonna be a long one. Like I seriously predict, out of all the shows that they, that they've done, likely they're gonna end up. There's gonna be so much discussion about my history as a content creator, my shortcomings and, pro- and problems I've had, but also the insane, absolutely insane amount of stuff that has been made up about me and me trying to clarify the, the truth of all those situations. I get the feeling it's just going to be a long interview, okay? Listen, maybe I get coffee or whatever in the middle, <laughs> whatever it has to be, you know? Um, I'm actually, tonight, I'm going to actually work on getting my stream stuff set up to work with their show. Um... To make sure that everything is kosher. I you know, jump on without any technical problems or whatever. Because that would really suck. If, oh, here we're ready to go. And then the fucking thing doesn't work, right? So I'm going to start, you know, figure that out tonight. And, uh, you know, honestly, am I, let me put it this way. Am I excited to be on the show? Yes and no. I'm excited because Stuttering Craig, who's the, you know, owner-operator of the show, is someone who I've known for the longest time. I was a fan of his back in the day in the mid-2000s before I was ever a YouTuber. No, we're not going back in time. No, when he... With Phil's about to go into a fever dream, <laughs> a little delusion about his glory days, and nobody wants to hear that shit. Fucking Al Bundy talking about the touchdown at Polk High School. <laughs> Logically answered all the shit thrown at me, but no one hears the answers. They only hear the noise of the detractors reverberating the accusations, because that's what gets echoed on YouTube, not the actual answers to the questions. You see? So finally, I could just sit there and be like, all right, we got to get out of the way. We get it out of the way, you know, and we'll see how it goes. Because here's the thing. I can't make anyone believe the things I say. There, I feel like no matter what, there's always going to be people who are going to not like you. And there's going to be people who want to believe what they want to believe. So it doesn't matter if they ask me two hours of questions and I answer everything rationally, logically, and to the best of my ability without, of course, putting myself or my family at personal risk. And people will still say, well, that's not enough. He didn't show enough evidence. He didn't do this or that. And that's fine. What are you going to do? But at least then it's out there. And if people have these questions, they can watch the show. And if they don't believe me, they don't believe me. But at least the questions have finally been answered and it's put to bed. Enough of the beating the dead horse bullshit. You know, I said my piece and then we're done and we can move on. And if people won't move on, well, then screw them. Right? Who cares about them? You know what I'm saying? So that's the way I feel about the whole thing. Um, but anyway. Because it won't be, Phil. Because I know you, you liar. <laughs> we're, we're, bro, uh, imagine we were actually dragging Phil to a court of law for murder, dog. And we have all this circumstantial evidence. We have CCTV in 4K. We have all this evidence on Phil, right? Like, it, this should be a slam dunk case, dog. And Phil's evidence is, is uh, trust me, bro. You know, just watch my content. Watch my, just believe me. You know? Like, he's so full of shit. It's gonna be next week, okay? So I'll let you know exactly when we have the date set in, unless they would like to reveal it first. In fact, I'm almost feeling like maybe they want to reveal it first. It is their show, after all, rather than me spilling the beans. Um, But yeah, it will be next week. And it'll be before my content. You know, my content, my stream starts 10.45 a.m. Pacific time. And then, you know, the actual podcast here usually starts between 11, 11, 15, runs till 12.30, and then we have gameplay. Well, then whatever day this podcast is going to be, I'm just going to let it ride. I'll tell you guys, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to be on that show, guys, and, and answer questions and whatever. And then when it's done, it's done. And then I come over to here to my channel and we basically go live and we do a decompression session where we just talk about all of that and relax and then we determine what we want to do i don't even think that stream i don't think i'm even going to set any determined gameplay or whatever maybe we just relax for a couple of hours and that's it or maybe instead maybe we we talk for like an hour and then i jump in i do something random like call of duty multiplayer or something like that you know what i'm saying um you know i don't know how long it's gonna go I don't know how long those guys have either. Like, usually, like I said, their show is from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. my time. It's like a two-hour show. I think they do a post-show for their patrons as well. Um, You know, but I don't know realistically how long it's going to run. 
I guess it really depends on where the conversation goes, how many of the insane, crazy conspiracy theory accusations they really feel like they want to address. I mean, yeah, maybe we could have a decompression session and we'll just talk. Yeah. Oh my god, hell no, bro. Are you fucking serious, Phil? Come on, dude. A de decompression session? <laughs> I swear, I want to I want to throw myself out of a fucking window. I, I'm too invested in this interview arc. <laughs> I have to see it through. I'm actually gonna have to sit here and watch Phil lie for probably an hour straight. Like just, oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is so stupid. Phil's really expecting like a bunch of people to not only believe him. But to, like, hang on his little piggy tail as he crawls his way back to DSP gaming, bro. So they can personally see how boring... Like, what's the purpose of that? So they can see how boring he is for themselves? Decompression session? I'm sorry, I can't get over that. That is just... that. Oh, that's so safe. Stationary word, you know? So, we'll see what happens. And go from there. But I'm, I'm feeling positive about it because it's funny. I've been having some people come on my channel here and saying, oh, do you think this is a good idea? You know, uh, here's the thing. Here's the way I'm approaching it. All right. Mr. Jasper Kitty's here today, if you haven't noticed. Um, I don't feel that those guys on the Side Scrollers podcast and Stuttering Craig in particular, the guy who operates the show, has anything whatsoever to benefit at all from me coming out bad or good for saying like if i go out of the show and i look like a horrible heinous villain they don't benefit if they come out, if i come out of the show and i look like oh everything's good they don't benefit or if it comes out where everyone's kind of like whatever judge for yourself they also don't benefit so to, to me like i see it's that there's no vested interest you understand what i'm saying those guys are not going to open up a hater channel about dsp the next day and then benefit from a series of disgusting videos about me you understand while a lot of these people who are on the internet saying nasty things about me that's literally what they've done if I ever go on an interview with review tech usa who has literally benefit from slandering me constantly for how many years always covering me in this, this really negative light you know making fun of me why would i do that why would i give him even more opportunity to benefit from my misery right as opposed to here's someone who feels to me like it's their neutral parties they don't most of the people on that show have never even heard of me and don't know anything about me so they want to honestly investigate this unique situation that is me and my my notoriety and infamy on the internet you see and i think it's going to be an interesting ride to say the least um and so it'll be good to be done too to get you out of the way i guess i guess jasper kitty you're nut ja i guess it'll be a good thing to just get it all out of the way and then say all right guess what now i've appeared on someone else's show i've answered questions right and you know you can believe me or not but now we can move on if you don't believe me then just get the hell out of here right enough with this this cloud of nonsense that continues now i can just do my own thing on my own content and, and that's that you know what i'm saying i'm telling you phil and stuttering craig they're collaborating behind the scenes they're setting this up for this to be as easy for phil as possible bro this is gonna be so horrible guys okay <laughs> like i encourage everybody to check it out it be in the chat, you know. Let's be there to support our boy Phil <laughs> during the interview. <laughs> Alright, man, this is ridiculous. This whole interview is stupid. Oh my god, this is just one big fluff to help Phil. It's a little easy dunk for Phil. It's ridiculous, bro. That's why he's acting brand new and fucking weird, dude. You know, he's been acting, he's been acting extra, extra weird the last few days. But whatever. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get high, play some video games. Maybe I'll stream later tonight. Like if I get this video out quick enough. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Take it easy, take care of yourselves. Feels a begging bitch. <laughs> hey. Phil's a joke, Phil's a clown, fucking loser, Phil's this, Phil's that.
he's a local. Bill's a beggar. Bill's a beggar. Bill's a joke, Bill's a clown. Bill's this, Bill's that. Always going broke. Bill's a beggar. He's a local. Bill's a beggar. If you think that someone who has to live day to day on tips and shit is funny. Oh, so hilarious that this guy has stuff financially tight. Ha 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 ha. No, it's not fucking funny. Now shut up. Bill's a joke, Bill's a clown. Bill's this, Bill's that. He's a local. Bill's a beggar. Bagging. Bill's a beggar. Bill's a joke, Bill's a clown. Always going broke. Bill's this, Bill's that. He's a local. Bill's a beggar. He's a local. Bill's a beggar. That's not me. Hey, I'll be honest, it's ner it makes me nervous because I've noticed recently there's actually been an uptick in Super Chats, which is great. It helps the channel long term, and certainly I'm not being ungrateful. And if that's the only way that you can contribute or support the channel, great. If you can help me and tip me, please do. That's what I need help with right now, okay? Again, I'm not asking for anything above and beyond. You know idiots will come out and pray. Ah, oh, Phil's saying he wants you to pay directly. This dude is a piece of fucking garbage. Yesterday.